Hey y'all, it's your girl Intuitive Mama and I'm back again for another video. So I wanted to get on here real quickly to talk about Brother Polite and him recently being um, arrested. I think he got seven years, if I'm not mistaken. If I got the time wrong, um, please just comment down below and let me know. Um, for pretty much being inappropriate with a child, with an underage um, young lady. And, um... I don't understand how anybody can be surprised about this situation. Um, brothers like Polite come a dime a dozen. Um, it's that brother, you know, we seen him in the hood. He thinks that he is so smart, so more advanced than everyone else. And he want to come and talk to you about, you know, African spirituality and this, that, the other, and the third. And act like he just got all the answers. And pretty much becomes a cult leader. And Kanye West said it best. You know, no one man should have all that power. Okay? Because once a man accumulates power over people, mental power, um, they use it to their advantage. And to profile somebody like Brother Poe, like, like I said, they come a dime a dozen. It's always them being broke working people pockets for money, acting like they so intelligent and so smart, so spiritually deep and pretty much convince and con people to pay their bills and eventually give them all their damn money, which is crazy. Um, usually, always, I'm not going to say usually, always sleeps with young women. Um, they're usually pedos and they disguise it underneath their religion. And it's like, I'll be looking at these brothers like, you can't see that something is wrong with this dude? First of all, Brother Polite Avatar, okay, the outer appearance is a hot mess. They said he came up underneath of um, the dude Malachi Z. York. I just started hearing about him within the last couple years, another cult freak um, weirdo touching on young women. And, um, you know, it's just really sad. His parents people really need to protect their kids you know like a lot of people will use religion and things like that to abuse and manipulate people and a lot of times the children are the ones who end up suffering parents will jump into these religious cults and organizations and get sucked into stuff and a lot of this stuff comes from people just not being grounded in spirituality a lot of us of course you know we come here and the first thing you know once you're old enough to read or understand, you get some type of religious book shoved into your hand, whether it be the Bible, the Quran, um, the Torah, whatever, you, you're you going to get it, right? Um, and it pretty much erases or breaks the connection from you having your own organic spiritual connection to the Most High. You're not really able to tap, tap into your or you're not really able to tap into your soul because you have this whole book telling you exactly who you're supposed to be in this whole story fairy tale about life and where it came from you know none of us really know exactly how we got here even though people believe that certain books are the truth it's all speculation and because these books exist um because everything is kind of so scattered especially amongst black people especially amongst FBA people. Um, it's easy for dudes like Brother Poe like to come in, act so intelligent like they know so much, and con their people. Um, yeah, like I said, Brother Poe like Avatar was a hot mess. Frail brother, did not look healthy at all. Eyes yellow, teeth yellow, broke, no money, but he was able to con all these people, accumulate a couple women, wives, that's what he says, you know. Um, and just manipulate. I mean, I, I don't see how nobody didn't see this coming. Um, I had watched this series on Netflix called Keep, hold up, hold it down. Keep, Sweet, Pray, and Obey about this dude, Warren Jeffs, um, a white cult leader. Weirdo. Same type of profile, same type of situation. Um, he actually inherited his platform from another old man. One of the young girls was in the, um, documentary talking about how, 
I think she was barely, if she was even 16 years old, and how she had to um, marry the older man in charge who was damn near like 90 years old. It was just so terrible. Her mother, father pretty much gave her to him. Um, and that was her first intimate experience with his old wrinkled, stinky body. And she said she woke up to him like pushing her with his cane. Like, I need you to take me to the bathroom. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. Because he was like in diapers and just a mess. Like old as hell. Like still trying to get himself a young woman. Um, they believe in sleeping with virgins. You know, it's almost kind of like those creepy movies where you would see like the evil entity wanting a virgin to kind of steal all their energy and all their power and things. Um, and it's just terrible. I don't really know exactly all the details with how Polite like, got caught. The mother should definitely be ashamed of herself. Um, I don't believe this was his first time. And she definitely had to know this dude was a creep. I don't know if something happened between them two that made them made her want to go forward with the situation with her daughter. Um, yeah, I don't really know about that situation, but I'm happy that she did come forward. Um, but Polite is one of millions. One of millions. And um, what this situation can kind of teach us, um, especially, like I said, being an FBA person, um, African-American woman, is um, you don't need a spiritual leader. Your own spiritual path is your own spiritual path. No man, no woman that's also having a human experience just like you should be able to tell you and control what you do with your life. It's 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 none of their business. All these crazy people that post these videos saying God gave me a dream that this that another the third is going to happen to you, or God gave me a message for you. God wants you to know. God wants you to be single. First of all, who are you? And why would God choose you to deliver a message to all these people when you don't even know what your situation is? We all down here trying to figure it out. The good thing is that we live in a space and time right now where it's a lot of information available. Do the research. Stay away from cult leaders. Those guys, or even women, because it's women too that do it, they're not smarter than you. Don't let them around your children. If somebody comes around you with a crazy looking avatar, okay, because their eyes be crazy. Like the dude warned Jeff, the, the white guy I'm talking about, Malachi Zeork, um, Polite, crazy, okay? Don't be fooled. Stay woke, you know, stay woke. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that situation because I just feel like it's a hot mess. He's in jail right now, seven years, they said. I don't know if he'll do the whole seven years or whatever. You know, it's not like he's going to come out different. I'm pretty sure he's going to be in jail talking to them brothers and trying to get into their head. It's, it's all part of the scam. It's all part of the, the craziness of it all. But um, comment down below and let me know how you guys feel about the topic so we can get the conversation popping. Um, like I said, if I was wrong about the jail time, also comment down below and let me know that too. But all right, y'all, have a blessed day, and I will see you next time. Peace.